so today's topic we are going to learn what are roll up columns and how to create so how to create roll up columns in dynamic 365 crm which were previously known as roll up fields roll up columns in dynamic 365 crm are special types of columns used to aggregate data from related records they allow you to perform calculation on related entities and store the result in the parent record roll up fields are useful for summarizing data such as totals average counts and more without the need for complex workflows or plugin so in our scenario we will count the total number of cases for account records why this is important it is important to keep track of how many active support cases a customer has it helps support team see which customer have the most unresolved issues by knowing this support teams can give more attention to the customer with the many activity cases ensuring they get the help they need quickly this way user can easily understand the importance and practical application of counting active support cases so now we will going to create our roll up column for that go to our solution select the entity where we want our roll up column in our case this is going to be account go to account accounts and click on column click on new column give a name such as total active cases you could give description also and now comes the part data type so you need to understand that there are certain data types which can be used as a roll up column they are numbers date and time and currency if you want to take uh, text look up choice or auto number then the roll up fields won't be created or configured so now for our scenario i am going to take number and then the behavior should be roll up and then click on save and edit after saving the column go back to the column click here and then click on edit so it will give a pop up now we can uh, you can see that there are pop up has come expand this as you can see our source entities account and hierarchy is no in our case i am taking it as a no you can take uh, hierarchy as yes also if you want to count the case of uh, child accounts of a particular parent account and then comes to return entity click here we want the return it should be case and then aggregation i am going to take aggregation as count so count would be cases click here as you can see so you can add filter here also but in my case i am not going to add it here any filter and then click on save and close so now our column has been set now we need to add this column to a form open a form so i want to show that total number of active cases on the top of my record so i could add it here after the account name i am going to add it and now we can save and publish it and before i tell uh, saving publish it i could tell you that uh, whenever we create any roll up fields it will auto calculate in every 12 hours or we could also do it manually i'm going to show it to you that also so now uh, click on save and publish once it published we go to our record and check whether this field has come to that record or not and then we will create a case also to check that number of counts are uh, generating or not Now it's been published. Now I'm going to open and record just like Alpine Ski House. Now refresh the record one or two times. So now we can see here the total active cases field has come and it's showing nothing. So now if I click here in the calculator, if it is giving me an option to recalculate manually, otherwise it will call calculate the cases for this account in each every 12 hours. If I click, if I click recalculate, so till now there are no active cases for this Alpine Sky House. So for that testing, I'm going to create a case for this record. So click on new case. Uh, give a name, just like test 1.2. Subject should be default subject. Customer, our customer is Alpine Sky House, Ski House. And now click on save. So now we have uh, one record for Alpine Ski House. So now we go back to our account records and if I open it, 
as you can see it's not calculated here because it will take 12 hours to auto calculate it but what what will happen if i click recalculate here so now as you can see there is one case has been increased because we have created this one case right now so i'm testing it again for another one that it will uh, add one more case here or not so click on new case give it test 2.0 subject should be default and it's my alpinski house and save it close go back to our account records open the same account record click on calculator with this field click on recalculate and now as you can see one record has been added to it and total active cases is 2 if i click again again and again nothing is happening so our roll up field is working fine so that's it for today's video thanks like and subscribe to our channel